Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening, evening. Teacher. Good evening. How Good do you evening, teacher? Fine, hello, fine, thank you. hello. Welcome Good back. Evening, How was hello, your... teacher? Hello. Hello, How... hello. Welcome. How was your weekend? Very good, teacher. Nice. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, Excellent. so good. What did you do this weekend? I play football. Oh, you play softball. Where did you play softball? In this? Football. Football. <laughs> sleeping. Oh, sleeping. sleeping. Nice. <laughs> One student exercise, one student sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was studying English teacher in platform. Hey, I like that. Very good. Emma, studying English. All right. Okay. Okay, guys, can you tell me what information do you remember? about the class on Friday. What information do you remember? I remember about what is your birthday? When is your birthday? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, Carlos. Hello, Eduardo. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, Yesenia. Welcome. Quería eh, hacerle una, una observación. Yes. Nosotros, este, bueno, nosotros trabajamos en el Consejo Superior de Salud Pública y hasta el viernes nos mandaron los enlaces. Entonces oh. nos perdimos... El, Nos perdimos la clase del jueves y viernes. No oh. sé si, si habrá al, algo que hay que hacer o, o continuamos a partir de ahora. Yes. Um, you only missed the class for Thursday and Friday. So yo les voy a mandar eh, el playlist de esas dos clases para que ustedes puedan revisar ahí en los videos. Ah, sí, tenemos el enlace de, de YouTube. Ah, ok. Ah, pues, eh, básicamente el primer día solo fue más que nada como introducciones. Hello, my name is Carlos. I work in, and where you work, eh, your hobbies, eh, things like that. Y el siguiente día empezamos en la plataforma y solamente hicimos, creo que el primer ejercicio. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Bueno, entonces vamos a poner atención. All right. Bienvenido. Welcome. Welcome. Gracias. Good Thank job. You. Thank you. All right. Now, today, guys, we're going to work on the, fur, the next section from Module 3. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So for this activity, we're going to move forward and we're going to look at 1.7. Eh, so en el fin de semana, teníamos que completar estas actividades en la plataforma. One through seven. Si avanzó más, mucho que mejor. 1.7, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about holidays in the U.S. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de hablar sobre las festividades en los Estados Unidos. Holidays in the U.S. Um, la palabra holidays eh, es como celebraciones o por ejemplo en El Salvador Semana Santa vacaciones angustinas eh, 
Christmas. <coughs> Digamos fechas especiales. Mother's Day. Mother's Day, Father's Day. It's the holidays. Listen, please. Listen, please. In the US. Pueden escuchar? Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see. Pueden escuchar? Yes, Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the U.S. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the U.S. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, we're going to repeat it one more time. Hi everyone. In this class you learn Let's get started by the holidays, holidays in the US. Okay. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences. Okay, everybody listen and repeat. New Year's Day. New Year's Day. New Year's Day. New Year's Day. January 1st. January 1st. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Day. February 14th. February 14th. Independence Day. Independence Day. July 4th. July 4th. Halloween. Halloween. October 31st. October Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Thank you. Fourth Thursday in November. Fourth Thursday in November. Christmas. Christmas. December twenty fifth. December twenty fifth. Okay. So, en esta actividad vamos a escribir una oración por día festivo. One New Year's Day, one Valentine's Day, one Independence Day, one Halloween, one Thanksgiving, and one for Christmas. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. El día San Valentín será febrero 14. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. 
voy a invitar a mi esposa a un restaurante especial. So you're going to imagine, imagine, va a imaginar, que es New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, Halloween. Este lo podemos saltar si no queremos hablar de este. Thanksgiving and Christmas. Y va a compartir su oración here in the discussion forum. So, en total serán one, two, three, four, five. Cinco oraciones. Any questions? Any no, teacher. No, no, teacher. Okay. Lo vamos a hacer en parejas. Las parejas pueden usar la misma oración. Ready, let's go. Entonces habla acerca de New Year's Day, que es el año nuevo, ¿verdad? El día de año nuevo, que es January 1st, el Valentine's Day, en February 14, Independence Day, en July 4th, en Halloween, eh, que es en October 31st, en Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. Uh, que es el uh, fourth Thursday in November y Christmas, que es December 25. Entonces eso estábamos viendo y ahorita ha pedido que hagamos una oración por cada... Por, por cada, cada uno. Ajá, por cada celebración y que la oración que hagamos en pareja la compartamos en el foro de discusión de la plataforma. Entonces yo había hecho una, por ejemplo, de Año Nuevo, ¿verdad? para el caso. Eh, what are you going, what are you gonna um, do on New Year's Day? Yo había puesto, I go to sleep all morning, o sea, que voy a dormir toda la mañana, por ejemplo. Del, uh -huh. de, del día de Año Nuevo, ¿verdad? que es el primero de febrero, que el primero de enero, que todos amanecemos durmiendo prácticamente. Entonces, como ejemplo, what are you going, what are you gonna do on New Year's Day? I'm going to sleep all morning. I'm going, I'm gonna sleep all morning. Sleep all morning. Dormir toda la, la mañana, como dice. Toda la mañana, cabrón. Y este, yo lo había hecho otro, diferente a otras, otras preguntas, pero basándonos en las que nos acaba de decir, por ejemplo, um, podría ser la otra en San Valentín, el ejemplo que está en la, en la plataforma sería, sería un, una opción de, de dejarlo así. El ejemplo dice eh, Valentine's, Day, Valentine's Day is gonna be on February 14. I'm gonna invite my wife to a special restaurant. Yo voy a invitar a mi esposa. Parece que en medio le entendí hasta ahí. 
Ajá, I'm going a, a mi esposa a un lugar especial. To a special restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurante. A un restaurante especial. Restaurant. Se podría dejar ese ejemplo. De ahí viene el día de independencia. Yo ese lo tenía como. Oh, quiero ver. ¿Dónde lo tenía? Independence Day is. Para nosotros no es July 4th. Sino que Independence Day is on September. Is on September. Um, 15. Yo le había puesto la oración. Eh, aquí se lo voy a mostrar, pero no, vamos a ver si, si lo puede ver. No sé si la puede ver ahí. Sí. Yo le había dejado aquí. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm going to take a break. Digo que no voy a hacer nada. No voy a tomar un, un descanso. Por lo general, si, si algunos nos dan, digamos. Libre. Ajá, nos dan el día festivo, pues. Yo, yo en mi casa en realidad no salgo. Ese día de verdad yo me lo tomo así como para un descanso. Si cae, si cae en medio de la semana. ¿verdad? Ese fin de semana. O dormir, el sleep. Ajá, cabal. Pero como en el primero había puesto sleep, yo en este puse, I'm not going, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm going to take a break. ¿Qué es esto? Y y en, y, en, y en este caso él, me recuerdo yo el, el viernes sí no me pude meter. Uh -huh. Él sí va trabajando a cabalidad con, con cada una de las lecturas, ¿verdad? Sí. Solo por, entonces... Lo que pasa es que como yo no tengo ahorita la máquina, la dejo en el trabajo. Uh -huh. Entonces medio logré ver eso. Lectura y, y la máquina a la par. Sí, este, él, él mencionó en una de las clases del jueves, creo que el viernes creo que lo repitió, o el jueves creo que lo dijo, que él va a trabajar con los ejercicios que están en la plataforma y que prácticamente todos debemos de hacer los eh, ejercicios, de desarrollar los, los ejercicios en el foro de discusión, vaya, poner lo que uno va trabajando ahí, ve. Ahí se lo va dejando. Más exigente que la otra, la otra teacher. Tal vez no más exigente, sino que, o sea, él nos hace trabajar lo que vamos viendo en la plataforma. ¿verdad? No nos pone a trabajar otra cosa que no. Yo siento que es... All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have one volunteer. Ricardo, Ricardo, please give me your examples. Quiero saber tus ejemplos. Eh, uno es, eh, yo puse... Yo tomé otro, ¿verdad? Y me iba inventando otros, no exactamente las celebraciones que están en, la, en el ejemplo que acabamos de ver. Por ejemplo, el, el okay. first sería Mother's Day is gonna be on my 10th. Uh -huh. May, May, May 10th. May, May 10th. May 10th. May 10th. May 10th. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna... I'm gonna to give you a surprise gift. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Thanks. Another one? Let me have another volunteer. Me, teacher. All right, Emma. Uh, Christmas Day 
is going to be on December 25th. 25th. Uh -huh. 25th. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. 25th. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, another Independence Day uh -huh. is going to be July. Ah, 4th. no, pero le olvidó en Christmas. It's going to be. En Christmas. It's uh -huh. going to be. Uh -huh. ¿Qué olvidé? Eh, ¿Qué va a hacer? I'm going to. Um, I am going to eat turkey, for example. Mm, delicious turkey. Very okay. good, Emma. Okay. Uh, let me have another participant, another volunteer that wants to share your examples. Marvin. Okay. Uh... September 15th. Oh. I'm going to the stadium to see the students. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Good job. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Very good. Eh, si no terminó, le queda de tarea. Now we're going to move forward and look at the next one, which is exercise 1.9. By the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer WH questions using be going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formular y responder preguntas interrogativas. WH. Usando Be Going To. Adicionalmente, ustedes practicarán una conversación, lo cual ilustra cómo este tema es utilizado en un escenario de la vida real. Have a good Valentine's Day. WH questions. Listen, please. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer WH questions using Be Going To. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation titled, Have a Good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. All right, let's look at this conversation. Listen and repeat. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? So, yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Yeah. yeah, I'm going, going to, to take my girlfriend. Girlfriend. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? really? Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Going to go? Lagunas. 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 It's her favorite restaurant. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like. Oh, she's going to like that. Oh, how about you? 
Oh, oh, no. and how about you? How about you? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to do? Going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Well, have a good have Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Thanks. Thanks. You, too. You, too. you too. Okay, one more time. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? So, so Tyler, Tyler, are you, are you going, going to do anything do special anything for Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going yeah. to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going, going, to, going to, take to take my girlfriend out, out for dinner. 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 Oh, really? Oh, oh really? 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 Where are you going to go? Yeah. Where are you going, going to go? go. Oh. Lagunas. 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 It's her favorite restaurant. It's, it's her it's favorite, her favorite, favorite restaurant. restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. Oh, oh, oh she, she's going to like that. How about you? How about you? What are you going to do? What are what you, are you do? going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Well, well I'm, I'm not going, going to go, go to a restaurant. restaurant. But I am going to go to a dance. I'm going to go to a dance. But but I am going to Sounds like fun. Sounds, Sounds like, like fun. fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. What? Well, well have, have, a, good, have a, good a good Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Thanks. You yeah. too. You Thanks. too. You too. You too. Okay. Right now, we are going to practice the conversation in pairs five times switching roles this is a pronunciation practice ready let's go five times in pairs practice the pronunciation ¿verdad? La... Um, la I need to share my screen. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Entonces, ¿hacemos la conversación? Sí, sí. Solo que necesito la conversación. No sé si la podemos uh, compartir ahí porque me está dando problemas la máquina. Vaya, claro, ahorita. Quiero ver si la Uh -huh. 
Okay. Um, who are you, Mona or Tyler? Oh, the, Mona, está bien. Uh, okay. So, so Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's got to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I ain't got to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thank you. You too. Uh, cambiemos los papeles. Back to you. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Uh, yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? Uh, what are you going to do? Well, um, I am not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good, a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Okay. Eso sería. <risa> dijo cinco, dijo cinco veces. Ah, cinco veces. Sí. Ah, sí, verdad. Sí, 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 sí. Ah, sí. oh, cambiamos. Ah, eh, okay. So Taylor, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Already. Where are you going to go? Lagunas is her favorite restaurant. Wow, she is going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thank you, too. Otra vez. Right. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Oh, Lagunas, it's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I am not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to, dan to a dance. Uh, sound like fun. What to well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Okay, de nuevo. <laughs> Hoy, bueno, comienzo. Uh, so, Tyler, are you going into anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. 
Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I am not going to go to a restaurant. All right, let me have Ricardo and Emma. Ricardo, you are going to be Tyler. Emma, you are going to be Mona. Oh. Okay. Va a compartir la pantalla, Ricardo. Oh, sí, se la comparto si gusta ahorita okay. también. Yeah, go ahead, Ricardo. Sí. En este momento. Sí, se ve. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Ahí está. Voy a ser un poquito más grande, ¿vale? Okay. Yeah. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah. I'm going to take my girlfriend off for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. All right. Good job, Emma and Ricardo. <laughs> now, Thanks, now, vice versa. Ricardo, you are Mona. Oh. Emma, you are Tyler. Okay. Okay. So, Tyler, are you going yeah. to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I am going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to do Lagunas, it's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go to restaurant, but I am going to go to, to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Excellent. Very Thank good. You. Thanks. Okay, just repeat after me. Valentine's. 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 Valentine's Day. Yes, yes. All right. Good job. Thank you. Now we're going to move forward and finish the video. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's gonna like that. How about you? What are you gonna do? Well, I'm not gonna go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Lagunas. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what? Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that, we add going to. Then we have the verb do. 
and finally we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that we need to add going to. Then we have the verb get. And finally we put the complement and a question mark at the end there. Okay. So for this activity, what you guys are going to do is you are going to look at, you're going to write one example with what and going to, how and going to, where and going to, and who and going to. You're going to write four sentences. One, two, three, four. Una para cada una. Una con what y going to. Una con where y going to. Una con how y going to. Y una con who y going to. And you're going to write it here. In the discussion forum. Oh, Maximo ya hizo. When are you going to visit the hospital? Excellent, Maximo. Who is going to paint the house? Perfect. Maritza, what are you going to do for Father's Day? Very good. Solo le faltó el símbolo de pregunta aquí. How are they going to get to work? Excellent. The símbolo de pregunta. What are you going to do for the holidays? Perfect. Van a ser cuatro, similar, así como las han hecho los compañeros ya. Are you ready? Let's do it. Yes. Let's do it. Sí, sí, correcto. ¿Mm? Vale, entonces es una con what are you going, otra con how are you going to, la otra es con where are you going, y la otra es con cómo se pronuncia el what's going, going going to mm -hmm. sí. Entonces, una una podría ser what are you going to do do for eh, Aquí dice Valentine's Day, podría ser eh, New Year Day. Uh -huh. Sí, también puede ser What are you going to do weekend? Weekend también. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Where are you going to go the tour? The tour, cabal. Uh -huh. Pero las otras son como las 
las negativas son, vea. La, de, de, la que están a la par. How are you going to get? How are you going to get her here? Uh, to get there. ¿Cómo llegaste aquí? Creo. ¿Cómo llegarás aquí? Ajá. O cómo llegarás, creo. Y la, y la, ¿cómo? Sí. How are you going to get there? Uh -huh. Y las otras son como, where going to drive? Where I not going to take a bus? Como la respuesta negativa. ¿ve? Pero como Negativos. dije, ente, entendí que solo question. Solo las, las preguntas. Uh -huh. Only question. Estar, estará, estará bien así. What are you going to do? Eh, la que dijo usted, ¿cómo, ¿cómo dijo? What are you going to do? Weekend. To do weekend, ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Qué, ¿Qué haces, Eva? ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué harás? ¿Qué, harás? ¿Qué, ¿Qué harás el fin de semana? Ajá. Uh -huh. Está bien. Y la otra es, where are you going? Uh -huh. to... to go the church. The church. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y la otra es, for who? Who are you going to get? Con... Y el otro es who's there, who's going, o cómo se pronuncia. Go. Sí, who's, who's, who's going who's. to be. Sí. La otra puede ser. Pero, pero ahí no cambiaría el ter, el der. Der, der, sí cambia. Pues, no, ese es complement. Ese es complement. Ah, pero en el, en el, ah, pero puede ser diferente a, la, a las dos primeras. Sí. How puede ser, how long are you going to work here? ¿Cómo será de largo tu trabajo aquí? ¿Cómo será de largo? La jornada de trabajo. La jornada de trabajo. Ajá. The working. Ajá. Acá va. To coin. To work. Ah. Y el otro. Who's going to be? This is who's casi no se me ocurre. Who's going to be there? ¿Quiénes estarán aquí? I am going to make a big dinner. Ya no, ya no llamaron. Ya, ya nos llamaron, ¿verdad? Vaya pues. Bueno, no pues hasta luego. Hasta más tarde. Sí. <ríe> Vaya pues. Hasta Gracias, Huguito. Bueno, hasta luego. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have one volunteer, please. One volunteer. Give me your examples. 
one volunteer. Give me your examples. <laughs> Morena. All right. Morena. Ah, Ana Cecilia levantó la mano. Okay, Ana okay. Cecilia. Vamos a escuchar a Ana Cecilia. Let me hear your examples. Y después va María Romero. Uh, when are you going to go to the church? All right. When are you going to go to church? Eh, mm -hmm. En el caso de church, no mm -hmm. necesitamos el the church. Solo church. Okay. Son cuatro. Okay. Normalmente son cuatro. Church, home, mm -hmm. Work y school. Mm. Esos cuatro. Home, church, school y work. ¿Por qué? Okay. Porque normalmente siempre son los mismos lugares. Right. I am going to go home. Me voy a ir a casa. I am going to go to work. Voy a ir al trabajo. I am going to go to church. Voy a ir a la iglesia. I'm going to go to school. Voy a ir a la escuela. No necesitamos el da en esos cuatro. Home, oh. church, school y work. En los demás, sí. Si usted dice, voy a ir a la tienda. I am going to go to the store. Ahí sí, mm -hmm. the store. Voy a la playa. I am going to go to the beach. Ahí sí. Eh, voy a ir al mall. I'm going to go to the mall. Voy a ir al parque. I'm going to go to the park. En todos los demás se usa el the menos home, church, school y work. Esos oh. cuatro no lo necesita. Ajá. Continue. Gracias. Yes. Continue. What, what are you going to do weekend? On the weekend. What are oh. you going to do on the weekend? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you. Good job, Ana Cecilia. Gracias, gracias. Very good. Okay, Maria Romero. Hey, the teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are you going to do for Mother's Day? I am going to cook it a uh, pizza. Mm. Where are you going to buy flowers? Mm -hmm. We're going to go to buy a store. Okay. Emma hizo las otras dos. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> okay. Okay, Emma. Okay, how are you going to get there? I am going to walk. Who's going to be there? I am going to be with my daughter. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Good job, Emma. Okay, Carlos okay. Villanueva. Thank you. Okay, um, hello. Um, what are you going to cook for dinner? Mm -hmm. uh, how are you going to fill with this? Mm -hmm. um, where is going to play the piano? Where is she going to play the piano on Monday? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the last one, who is going to go to the party? Excellent. Excellent. Good job, Carlos. No observations on that one. Excellent work. All right. Si no ha terminado, le queda de tarea. Now we're going to continue with Knowledge Check 1.11. Instructions. Complete the conversations with the correct form of be going to. Follow the example. Instrucciones. Complete las conversaciones con la forma correcta de be going to. Siga el ejemplo. Ejemplo, example. How are you going to spend your summer vacation? 
my parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. ¿Cómo vas a pasar las vacaciones del verano? Mis padres y yo iremos a visitar a mis abuelos. Conversation number one. Who are you mm, to Thanksgiving dinner? Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Vamos a completar las conversaciones en parejas y después vamos a chequear juntos. Let's go. Hello. Comenzamos. Sí. Diana. Sería aquí. La primera sería. Going. Who are you? To. Going to. Invite. To. Sí, espérame que me equivoqué. ¿Verdad? Sí. ¿Este? I am going to ask. ¿Más? Uh -huh. I'm going to do. We are to going to the oh, exactly. We do for Halloween. I don't know going to not to. Mm. Esta es estar bien así. No, esa creo que no es así. Quiero ver es. I am. I am. Yo la ¿Así? hice esa. Negativa. Why not do? I am. Um, no. I am going. Not to do. I así? am not. Yo creía que es así. Going not do. Pero... ¿Verdad? Yo no soy como especial. I am not. No es I am not going. ¿Cómo? I am I not. Am not to. Do, uh -huh. going, to, así. No, no sería, I am, I am not going. I am not going to, do. Así. Creo yo que sí, en esa tengo dudas, es que esa yo ya la hice en la plataforma, pero me costó. Bueno, hagámosla ah, y vamos a ver uh -huh. si nos sale bien. Sí. Aquí sería. I'm going to do. Going to do. ¿Qué no sería? Celebrate. Celebrate. ¿Así? ¿Verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Aquí sería: They are going to go. To go. 
Aquí, water is que es going to do. Su novio going to take. ¿Verdad? Going enviar? to to y el to aquí en la última. Again, going to take. take. Veamos, veamos. Vaya, sí, en esta fallamos. <ríe> En la que teníamos duda. Mm. Ah, no, mira, esta no, no. sale bien. Ajá. Está sí. bien esa. Así está. Sí. How are Era, going your parents to, going to do? No. Sí, es que aquí me equivoqué. Mm. Sí, el do, no. Quítele el do. Uh -huh. Vale, veamos. Ahí está. <risa> ¿Cómo queda la de I am? A ver. I am not going to do, ¿verdad? Not going to do. Uh -huh. I am not going to do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es la número tres. I am going to do. Es la B. De la, dos. Empieza la De la conversación dos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es, es la, la B. B. Uh -huh. Not going to do. I am not going to do. Porque esa es la que está más difícil, ¿verdad? Sí, a mí me costó, fíjese, pero al fin le. Sí. le ajá. No, no, no. Bueno, terminamos. Teacher, teacher. <risa> no creo. O quiere que las practiquemos, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Solo quería que las resolvieran. Sí, ajá. No dijo de pronunciar. Pero si quiere usted, comience a pronunciar. Para esperar a que. Para que nos llamen otra vez. Uh -huh. What are you going to invite the invite. Bite. 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 Perdón. invite? What are you going to invite? Bite es esta. Invite. Invite. Uh -huh. What are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Who is who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Who? Oh. Thanksgiving, no es? Yeah, diner? Thanksgiving. 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 Giving. 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 Thanksgiving. Giving. 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 Please continue working on the platform and we see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.